Welcome to Atlas Diner's 50th anniversary celebration. Before Club MTV, before Soul Train, even before American Bandstand, the Atlas Diner was, and is, a Santo Domingo tradition. I'd just like to welcome everyone here tonight. It's an honor being a part of Atlas Diner's great history. There are a lot of wonderful memories in this Chrome and from Micah Palace. Hank's right. The Atlas is full of memories. And some of the greatest memories belong to me and my buds. brings it all together. Good friends, good times, good feelings, in total synchronicity. Gentlemen, synchronize swatches. keep running away from everything that scares you. Picture yourself down the road. A man who never dated. <laughs> Going to the scope, sirs. Mail's in. Have I ever let a best bud down? I brought your guitar, sir. Three guys doing what guys do. Get out of our way. We're reckless. We're dangerous. We're primal. Woo! 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 So, uh, what do you guys want to do now? sir I don't know Jer something about that jukebox Atlas Diner is not about scarfing down a slab of pie and a cup of joe it's a place to sit down with your friends and share more than a meal the truth is Atlas is more than my business it's my home I lost my leash and they're gonna tear down the diner and put up a strip ball. <laughs> Four, five, and five is ten. Thanks for coming. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> let you give up, Hank. You gotta find a way to buy out the owner. Stop that strip mall. Hell, ask your father for the money. Atlas is the heart and soul of Santo Domingo. It's the lifeblood of the people. It's the only job I can get. 
hold or land a loan from his father. <laughs> He's got as much chance of landing me. W which is no chance. Wait. In a twisted way, Mikey's right. My father's greatest pleasure in life is telling me I told you so. I'm giving him an opportunity to pound me with it every day for the rest of his life. It's ringing. Rats, I got his answering machine. Dad, it's Hank. Your son the failure? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Call me back tonight. Now all we have to do is wait. I'm not really in the mood for music, Parker. Annie, this might be the last quarter we ever put in this machine. Let's spend it on our song. Stomach's churning. The acid's burning. I've got a heartburn of love. I'm getting queasy. Like lunch was greasy. I've got a heartburn. Heartburn, heartburn of love. Have any more quarters? <laughs> you think your children have got hot memories? This jukebox is going to have a meltdown. Table for me. Table for me. I need a single. Is there a table for one? It's for Grace Musso. Table for one. I'm alone, Judy. Alone, alone, alone. There's a Rick Hayes calling, something about a Saturday night. <gasps> Hello, Doctor. Hello, Grace. I just wanted to tell you what a lovely time I had the other night. Oh, me too, Doctor. I was wondering if you could make any free time for me this week in your busy schedule. Impressive, Grace. You possess the wisdom of Sandra Day O'Connor and, if you don't mind my saying, the body of a table dancer. <laughs> Name's Houston. Rex Houston. That's right, there's two of us. T-W-O-2. Till I was struck by you. Oh, I was just thinking about me now and me a week ago. You mean a week ago when you were a work-obsessed school administrator with no recent history of, nor immediate prospects for any sort of romantic liaison? You may kiss the bride. The behavior of late gives a feeling that is queasy, uneasy. Could it be love? Poor Miss Musso. Take Dinah closing hard. 
Scoob understand. Diner filled with sweet and wonderful memories of dear friends, meaningful moments. Hmm, good fly. Jim. Death. No. Mr. Kubiak, sir, or hurting me would be fun. been looking all over for that. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. This place is dead even before it's dead. Can we get some tunes going? Allow me, Miss Lewis. But I should warn you, this is no ordinary jukebox. It's magic. Gee, Jer, really? Maybe, maybe the keyboard elves are living in there and they're baking us up some magical songs. Let's see. Jerry, oh, Jerry. Thank you, Miss Lewis. Love sure is fun, sir. Switched on let it. Nobody's hovering over you. They said I'd love to do it Saturday night. You did? If you act anything like you did tonight, I'd be crazy not to fall for you. I mean, he. He. So... I guess is where we would... We would kiss. If this were a real date. But it's not. Mr. Lewis, Mr. Randall. We're ready to go home now. Well, good night. Love is hell? 
Jerry, you did this? Well, I, yeah. Cool. Hello, Atlas Diner. Dad, uh, listen, Dad, I need a loan. If I can't come up with my lease money by morning, I'll lose the diner. That's right, Dad. You sure told me so. How about the loan? Oh, I see. Well, you certainly told me so. What happened? He wanted to help, but he's cash poor right now. He just made a major investment in a strip mall construction project. Ordering. Order up, one burger special. <laughs> Better make that to go. Okay, one last time. This here's your diner, and this here's our wrecking ball. This here's your diner under our wrecking ball. Any questions? There's got to be a way of saving the diner. You know, pulling through at the last possible moment, just like they do on TV. a teenage rags to Keisha's success story, who's finally getting a taste of the good life, Coob style. Whether it's spending time in his own personal Ponderosa, touring his private bottling plant, or playing host to celebrity chum Dom DeLuise. Our first bachelorette is a teacher whose hobbies include disco dancing and rabbit hunting. Let's give a great big dating game hello to Grace Musso. And here she is. Hi, Grace. Wow. All right, so, guys, what do you say? She trip your trigger or what? What is she, 40? Turn me on. Goran Nemec, Maya Bruton, Troy Slayton, and Suzanne Plachette. Well, maybe not Suzanne Plachette. Starring in My Sibling, My Enemy, Portrait of Teenage Torment, tonight at 9 on Fox. your fries and your ketchup cowardice timidity spinelessness hiker lewis in the longest walk <laughs> we'll be right back after this i won't be back tranquility and security from the communist threat if only things worked out in real life like they do on tv if they did someone would probably step up and say something like i've done it i single-handedly put a stop to the demolition you did how steiner how i used the diner fax machine to send documentation of the diner's historical significance to the governor in hopes of getting it declared an historical landmark the governor is reviewing my findings and should be saying us his reply any moment 
Wow! I have a fax machine! Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What does the governor say? Will he save the diner? Well, according to this, it doesn't look very good. Usually I'm not at a loss for words. In fact, I'm never at a loss for words. But this time... I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places That this heart and mind embraces all day through small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, the wishing well. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and gay. I'll always think of you that way I'll find you in the morning sun And when the night is new I'll be looking at the moon But I'll be seeing you Shadows of evil threaten the peace-loving citizens of Gotham City. Merely shine a beacon of light bearing the symbol of my name. And I'll be the answer to your problem. I, Batman, am here to serve and protect on Batman, the animated series. Weekday afternoons on Fox. Now, stay tuned for Shaky Ground, next. Mr. Randall? Mr.